back to Tech Review and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the Motorola E5 Supra, how to master reset it, how to put into developer options mode, how to make it faster, uh, how to put in safe mode, how to actually master reset it, and all that stuff. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family and comment down below um, you know, any other videos that you want me to do or see. Um, you know, or any other tutorials that you want me to go over. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And let's go ahead and, you know, master reset your Moto E5 Super. Alrighty guys, so here is your Moto E5 Supra from Cricut Wireless. Now this tutorial will actually show you how to basically reset or do anything with any Motorola E5, G6 Forge, any of the G E5 plays, anything basically that's Motorola they're all kind of the same-ish type stuff. Now, maybe it might change in different variations or different like Oreo, Nougat, Marshmallow, or whatnot, but pretty much you should be safe with all these type of things. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys that's really easy and fast is gonna be how to get in and out of safe mode. So to get in and out of safe mode, you're gonna go ahead and hold the power button down for a couple seconds and you're gonna go ahead and hold the power off button and now it's gonna shut down the phone. So it looks like you know, it looks like it's just going into regular power off mode and you might actually get into the safe mode accidentally uh, by doing this. So I actually did this just a second ago by myself accidentally because usually on the, you know, ZTE brand series, you actually hold the power button and then it tells you that it's going into safe mode. Okay, so if I stumble across my words a little bit, I did just wake up. So pardon me on that one. I am recording this, this on the ZTE Blade Z Max, so shout out to ZTE as usual. Let's go ahead and put in my passcode right there. So, yeah, if you get a hold of my phone, then that's my passcode. Hey, but you'll never get a hold of my phone. So, anyways, as this is booting up, I still love the Motorola E5 Supra. Wonderful device, wonderful device. Uh, so, here's the Cricut logo. Let's go ahead and go. Thankfully, this Cricut wireless phone actually gets in pretty fast. So, here you go. This is the safe mode guys as you can see. Now in safe mode you're not going to be able to do anything. It is bright and brilliant right there. So safe mode and as you can see all your applications are now gone. Pretty much you can't do anything as far as that. It says download app disabled in safe mode. So safe mode is basically so you can actually just see what comes on the phone strictly itself without anything else. And you can actually go into your applications and get rid of stuff that is not needed. So. Hey, safe mode might be for you, but not for me at this moment. So let's go ahead and get right out of the safe mode. Actually, what we can probably go ahead and do is we can, let's see if we can actually go into the, get into the um, other part of the thing that I did want to show you guys. Let me see, build number. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what you want to do to get into your app developer mode right there, so, so you can actually speed up your phone a little bit, you're going to go into about phone. So settings all the way down to about phone. Then you're gonna go right here to build number. You're gonna tap a bunch of times. So you're just gonna tap, tap, tap. And then you're gonna confirm your pin right there. So of course my pin again. All right, it says you are now a developer. So now you can actually go back out right there. And then developer options. You can actually select developer options now. And these developer options, basically, you don't want to really touch any of these developer options other than the one that usually you can see tutorials about, Windows Scale Animation. I always set them to off. People set them to 0.5. I just set them to off. I really don't care about window animations, guys, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah, there you go. Now your Windows animations are off. So, basically, anytime you go do anything, it's just automatic. No animations, nothing. It's just boom, boom, boom. Right off the bat, no problem, no no fuss, no muss. So there you go, guys. So let's go ahead and get out of safe mode. So basically, the easiest way to get out of safe mode is just to reset the phone or power it off normally. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm trying to keep this tutorial as short as possible. So bear with me, guys. So we're going to hit the power off button right here. Now to go to the factory reset is a little bit of a pain on the Motorola E5 Supra or the Motorola series in general. But I like that fact. I like that it's not the easiest thing to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the power down button and you're going to hold the volume down button. So you're going to hold power down first for a little bit. Then you're actually going to, oh sorry, volume down first, then power. And then you see how it's going to pop right up with this um, menu right here. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to recovery mode. 
I wouldn't go to any of these other modes unless you know what you're doing. BP Tools, QCOM, Bootloader, Switch Tools, Mode, Start, Restart, Bootloader, Recovery Mode. So you're going to go to Recovery Mode and then you're going to hit the Power Button right here, which is actually right there. Okay, so you're going to hit the Power Button right there. And then you're going to go ahead and wait for this M to pop up right there. And I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset or clean your cache. But you get this no command thing right here. So this no command thing actually is uh, quite the pain. So you do hit the volume up and power. So I guess that's for, you know, just in case right, someone guys, And now, you, as you see, I'm in the factory reset mode right here, Android Recovery. So you're going to go to Reboot System Now. Look, Reboot to Bootloader. Apply Update from ADB. Apply Update from SD Card. White factory data reset, wipe cache partition, mount system, view recovery logs, run graphics test, power off, or go to reboot system now. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to reboot system now, basically, and this will kind of end the tutorial um, section of this thing. So basically, once again, if you want to soft reset your phone, like it's just acting up or whatever, you can just hold down the power button uh, for a good 10 to 15 seconds. If you want to go into safe mode again, you can just hold down the power button until the power power off or reset phone comes up right there and then you're just going to hold the power off actual on the screen for five seconds and that'll do that uh, if you want to go into developer mode once again you're going to tap you're going to tap the uh, you're going to go to about phone you're going to go all the way down and then you're going to go to the last portion right there and then tap it five times to get into that so that's basically about it guys about my whole master reset and everything like that and also you can go right into the phone you don't actually have to do the power combination button thing that's for like the last resort type thing if you can't actually get into the phone so let me show you guys real quick once again now to actually get into the right here where you can actually just go ahead and master reset the phone itself I guess you can go into uh, it's not there let's see here system probably and you can go to reset right there you can go to reset right there you can reset app preferences you can factory data resets right there or you can do network settings reset just in case you know your da data is messing up and you want to just network reset you can do that as well all right guys well this has been john from magic tech review go ahead and leave that big fat like on there if you enjoyed the content and subscribe, of course, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.